Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of my blind playthrough of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In the previous video, we made quite a bit of progress through the town of Halloween, Halloween Town. We ended up actually defeating Oogie Boogie at his little casino thing, and then Oogie Boogie re-emerged as a gigantic form of himself that we are going to go and defeat today. Uh, he appears to have some weak spots in the form of, like, very obvious uh, dark spots that we can hit. We're just gonna go after his, like, skin imperfections, right? Alright. So, the first thing we're going to do, though, is I saw a chest on my way down, and I want to try and get that chest now. So I believe if I land it nice and easy... Oh, I missed it. Okay, I'm done. I gave it a try. It's probably something kind of worthless anyway. Okay, we can't go through the door. That would be too obvious. All right, so let's go ahead and just work our way up over here. These are the sort of like bubbles, boils, pimply things we have to take care of. And so take care of them we shall. Hey, Jack Skellington has like no health. And Donald also has like no health. Question, what happened to you two? Were you in combat and I was not in combat or what? Because I don't think we fought anyone that would have resulted in such such lowered health. Alright, we can't really continue up this way to- Oh, yes we so can. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. Where's the next one? Okay, that keeps targeting one like super above me. Let's go for this one. I assume we're gonna have to sort of be on our own when it comes to finding these things. And so we're gonna have to stay focused and make sure we go in somewhat of it of an order. Uh, right now we're at what I believe is near the top. Not quite the tippity top, but we are near the top. I might want to go to the top and work my way down. Uh oh. Don't want to attack the enemies. Because if you attack the enemies, that gives you, I think, a chance to fall. Solely because, um, you know, Sorin is lock on capability. He kind of just really full sends it and it's entirely possible that you will fall very far. Let's go back. Hey, Donald, what's going on, man? I noticed you're down. Don't know how that happened. I don't know why he's also not like, uh-oh, uh-oh, just trying to throw me off. Okay, wait, what is over here? Okay. Is there not one? Oh, there is one up all the way. All right, let's go get this one, uh-oh. Okay, stay calm. Stay calm. We're gonna get the one at the very tippity top and then work our way down. That's my that's my official battle strategy. Is a top-down strategy. The top-down strategy works because I'm planning on falling pretty soon. I anticipate that it will happen. And falling won't be bad if I have no remaining objectives up here near the top. Alright, um... I guess we can start working our way down now. Moving over towards the left. Uh, obviously we were able to get up here, that I didn't use like a glitch or anything. So the game does intend for this. At least it accounts for it, maybe it doesn't prefer it, but it knows it is a valid method of getting over where we are. Ugh, I wish the camera was a little more loosey-goosey. Okay, hold on. So I'm just gonna, f oh, okay, there's one right there below us, okay. Not sure how we were to find that without uh, trial and error. Oh, locked onto the wrong thing. No biggie, gonna have to heal. Thank you, Donald. Donald give me the heals. Gonna go ahead and keep myself healed as well. All right, I don't know if this is the last one. We're in sort of one of those situations where we're kind of blind going through these things. Um, because, oh, I guess it was the last one. Because we got the cool cutscene. Nice, okay. Stellar. We also got like level ups and stuff, but I'm not sure what we gained from those level ups. That wasn't too tricky of like a, a phase two. It was pretty fun. C climbing around on tall Oogie Boogie. Kind of like Shadow the Colossus. He was also kind of a cool character. I don't want him to crumble away. But alas, he crumbles. Oh, was he? He, his house was the keyhole. Or the moon was the, wow, okay. And we locked the key right up. 
We lock the world. Photo finish. Attain the power of the stars. Learn to magic spell gravity. Okay. Interesting. Sally, why didn't I listen to you? Don't feel bad, Jack. We'll come up with another plan for Halloween. That's awesome. Next time, we'll do it together. How wonderful. I guess we have no choice. We'll have to cancel the Heartless Halloween Festival for now. Here, I want you to have this. Obtained pumpkin head. Visit us anytime, Sora. Next year's Halloween will be the scariest ever. Emotion, memory, you put in all the necessary ingredients. What else do you need to make a heart? There's a heart anyway. A miserable little pile of secrets. I can't figure it out. I want to see this keyblade. Pumpkin head. Lowers our MP by one, but uh, increases strength and range. I think we have to use the, the crab claw. Or I think we have to use the um, the pumpkin head rather. Also, speaking of which, we have to. Is there anything better for Sora? Not particularly. I mean, we can get like straight up defense, more defense, but we don't. We all take a hit to our HP and um, and to our uh, what was it on strength? Yeah, strength and HP are two stats that are, are still pretty useful. I think. All right. Well, that is bonkers. Look at how much health Jack has, by the way. It's literally looping around his bar, his little circle bar. All right, well, I guess that's it for Halloween Town, because we- Oh, hold on. I think magic is as good as Donald's now. No way, not in a million years. Why don't you go see Merlin and work more on your magic? I was actually going to do just that, good sir. However, I did want to check on something very quickly. Um, we are going to actually- Oh, you know what? Uh, this is going to be worthwhile. I saw what I thought was like a- you know what, nah, I will do it, fine. What we're gonna do is run back to where we fought Oogie Boogie because I believe I saw a an area that we could descend like underneath Oogie Boogie's house. Yeah, this spot right here. Where does this lead? Oh, it leads us to three chests. Okay, that's actually kind of major. Let's go ahead and defeat these baby heartlesses. Oh, got a level up as well, nice. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna defeat these little baby heartlesses and open this chest right up. This keyblade is actually probably the coolest one yet, both in terms of design and uh, abilities. All right, so what's the first chest? Uh, Dalmatians. Second chest. Oracalcum. Third chest. Mega Ether. All right, so it was it was kind of worth it. I think the um, oh you know what we have, do we we don't have Red Trinity do we? I don't think so. Yeah, that was that was a pretty useful trip back, I'd say. All right, we are going to head back to Traverse Town now because I want to do Winnie the Pooh slash Hundred Acre Wood stuff. Uh, we have, I think, an extra torn page from the last time we were here, and uh, Winnie the Pooh is not like a required thing at all, uh, from what I've gathered. But it's just fun. I like the, uh, I like the, you know. It's a very peaceful world. We're fighting Heartless, we're doing this, we're doing that. But all that's happening in the Hundred Acre Wood is, uh... Is, is just, you know, minor troubles. Well, the troubles are actually kind of immense because it's like, um... People are getting erased. But we're fixing it, you know, we're working our way through. And we have to... We have to sneak up on Piglet, is what a, a comment informed me. So why don't we... Go ahead and just uh, drop down. Oh, oh, sorry, Piglet. Just sneak very so slightly. And then I jump. Voila! Got him. Oh, dear. I was just, just, never mind. I'm sorry. We're friendly, Don't Piglet. Don't be scared. You're looking for poo, right? You know, Pooh. <sighs> oh, you see, I, I have something for him. I have to take it to Pooh right away. <laughs> there he is. Oh, Pooh. Convenient timing. Oh, I believe 
I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. Oh, look at him. Look at Hello, Naruto Piglet. running Piglet. How have you been? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. I brought what you asked for. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. He's gonna fly to the tree. Really? But, 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 but how? I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? But if you take their honey, won't the bees be angry? It's a worthy sacrifice, Piglet. Oh. Does he put on a bee costume or something? I feel like he puts on a bee costume. If you could only chase away those bees, I'm quite certain I could get a small morsel of honey. Would you help me get some honey? Should I help Pooh get some honey? Sure. What do we gotta do? Slap the beehives? Oh, owl! I have to do my owl impression. Oh, hello there, owl. Good day, Pooh. What are you doing? That's not owl. Using honey to get some... Using a balloon to get some honey? Splendid idea. Allow me to offer a few pointers. Smack the beehives. Those are the pointers. Ahem. Now Pooh can get up... Get honey by floating up the tree with his balloon. The honey's inside the tree hollows, not the beehives you see here. Alright, so it's in the little tree knots. It's not in the hives. Wink, wink. There's quite a lot of honey in these holes. If Pooh gets too close, the bees will come out to protect their honey. If they get to Pooh, they'll pop his balloon. Lock onto the bees and swat them away. The more time Pooh has at each hollow, the more honey he can eat. There's more honey higher up, too. If jumping from branch to branch proves difficult, try the rush command. Rush can get you, help you catch up to Pooh quickly, but it isn't fully reliable. Good luck! I like to think it isn't fully reliable means uh, the game devs uh, <laughs> were programming it and it just became too tricky. Uh oh, uh oh. Get the bees away. I'm protecting Winnie the Pooh for everything I can. Well, how do you do the rush command? Oh, uh, uh, rush! Get up, get away! Get away! I hit them too. No! Sorry, Winnie the Pooh. Oh, he's going again! He's not gonna let them stop! The, he's got more... Wait, okay, where are the bees? Okay, there's bees right here. There we go, just hit them once. Give him lots of time. The camera is, is like weirdly, uh, it's like, um, side to side only. I can't really go up and down. I can only go left and right with it. It's an interesting, uh, camera configuration. Nope, get away from my friend. Get away from Winnie the Pooh. He needs time to eat his honey, darn it. And I will grant him all the time in the world. I will not fail you, Winnie the Pooh. I shan't. I don't know if we're going to get to the second torn page today. But I bet we will at least finish up whatever we got going on here. Oh, I missed. Oh, good clutch. Air combos, baby. Another minute and a half spent defending Winnie the Pooh and his honey uh, habits. There we go. Honestly, air combo plus or whatever I have. Kind of, uh, what is it called? Combo plus. Yeah. Oh, no, air. I don't know. That might not be it. I have something that increases my combo and it is very helpful. Also, every time you smack against the uh, the bees, it just kind of places you back on the platform, which is nice. Nope. Uh-oh. I gotta rush. Please let me rush. I need to rush to Winnie the Pooh. Help, please. Rush. Rush. The rush option wasn't appearing. Hi, Winnie the Pooh. Good to see you. Like my goth keyblade. Alright, we'll just have another minute. That should be fine. I see the bees are already coming to attack. Can I get the rush, please? Thank you. It's very jumping is is quite tricky with this. The rush command is is uh, very helpful, but I don't know what where the window of opportunity is to get it to work. All right, he'll probably collect a hundred honey. Are you collecting actual pots of honey, or is the pot just like an icon? You imagine he's getting a hundred jars of honey. That's a lot of honey. I mean, usually honey is sold in you know little plastic. Uh, 
upside down bears. Yeah. Oh, he's got 105 honey so far. 15 seconds. A very relaxing way to uh, to wind down after attacking giant oogie boogie. We do giant oogie boogie. We do giant honey tree. It's all the same to Winnie the Pooh at least. As long as he gets his honey. Jump off in victory. Splat. Uh oh, there he is. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. It is rather funny what I will do for honey. It's a lot of honey. He's gonna be very sticky after all this. Bring a spoon next time, Winnie. The torn page turned into a new item. Obtained Nature Spark. What is Nature Spark? Nature Spark, a gem emanating a strange vitality, give it to the fairy godmother. Okay. I believe there should be a new area for us to go to. Oh, uh, expansive vegetable fields. This is probably rabbit's area then. We'll give the, uh, the item to the fairy godmother to end off the video, by the way. Don't worry. Do not worry. What is going on through here? Rabbit lives here. These are rabbit's cabbages. Oh, rabbit's gonna freak. Rabbit is gonna freak out. We steal your mail? There's a letter inside. I hope you're finding more honey together soon. Ooh. That is illegal. Nobody's home. I'm out of honey. All right. You've asked for it. I'm gonna pluck your vegetables. Do I actually have to pluck his vegetables? I feel like that's a... Uh... Kind of a mean thing to do. But hey, if he found out we were plucking his vegetables, he would be very upset. If we leave, does something happen? Or do we actually need to, uh... Oh, nope. Okay, we actually need to do something. Nobody's here, and I'm out of honey. How do we show him... That we aren't... That we're, we're, we're new friends? Wait, he's a rabbit. He would like his carrots the most, right? Maybe not. Pulling out his pumpkins, there's a lot of vegetables to pull out. I don't think I have to pull every single vegetable. That would be uh, that would be a lot. Nobody's home and I'm out of honey. Can I just break into your house? Oh! Hello. Looks like yes, we can break into his house. Look, Rabbit's house came back, but it looks like Rabbit isn't home. Who's been calling and calling, but the house says no one's there. Houses don't talk. Nobody's home. That's right. Nobody. Oh, wait. That's... Oh, I guess that wasn't me. Uh, I mean, that was Rabbit. Oh, I'll just break in. Who is this person named Nobody? Um, bother. This is my Winnie the Pooh impression. Nobody. Have you seen Rabbit? No, no Rabbit here. There's no one here. Huh, <laughs> Rabbit. Hello, Rabbit. Why, Pooh, what a pleasant surprise. Nice to see you too, Piglet, and... Oh, this is just Squidward. Is this a new friend? <laughs> Pooh, I'm sorry, but... I'm all out of honey at the moment. Hi, Rabbit. I've got nothing to give Pooh. Don't waste your time looking around. Oh, wait. But honey, now how did that get up there? Would you feel like some poo? Don't feel you have to, of course. Oh, thank you, rabbit. I would like just a small smackerel. I'm quite hungry. Um, poo bear. You're not eating the whole pot, are you? Once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? That's the way of Winnie the Pooh. Oh, out of honey again. I'm so happy to have found both Rabbit and some honey. So Rabbit came back too, but someone's still missing. Some place in the Hundred Acre Wood are gone too. Oh, but what to do? Alright, well, seems that, uh, you know, we've got some of the Hundred Acre Wood friends back. We haven't seen Tigger, uh, Kangaroo. Help, please, Pooh. Who is- oh. Oh, it's Piglet. Oh! Darn. Oh, he got stuck. Oh, what 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 to do? 
I can't hit him? Oh. Well, help and bother. I'm stuck again. I came in through this hole, so it must have shrunk. Uh, gravity? No. Okay. Um, rabbit, any ideas? All this because he can't stop liking honey so much. If poo doesn't slim down, my house will stay plugged forever. If only there was something we could do. And it's not smacking him? Okay, maybe it's a... Maybe we do something from the other side? I figured gravity, like we could use gravity to pull him out. Oh, oh we can pull him out. Oh, how will I eat honey if I'm stuck here? When it's lunchtime, perhaps you could bring me a honey jar. No, honey, tell you're unstuck. If poo doesn't slim down, my house will stay plugged up forever. If only there was something we could do. Wait, I know. A bit of carrot top juice will do the trick. I have a carrot patch on the other side of the stream. Carrot top juice is just a ticket to slimming down a poo. Oh, no. I pulled out all his vegetables. Oh, there's Tigger. Look at him go. Oh, no. Tigger. Oh, look at him. Hey there, name's Tigger. T I double G R. That spells Tigger. Well, now, I don't think I've ever seen you before. Hello, Tigger. You've just bounced my new friend, Sora. Hey, Pooh. Say, you're looking mighty uncomfy today. Is that some new exercise? Why, bouncing around is a lot more fun. <sighs> Why do you bounce around so much, Tigger? Why? Because bouncing's what Tiggers do best! Speaking of which, my bouncing spot has gone and disappeared! So for now, this will be my new bouncing ground! <laughs> Rabbit's gonna hate that. Tigger's bouncing will ruin my vegetables. If you don't give Pooh some carrot top juice, he'll be stuck forever. Please help me. Keep Tigger away from my carrots. This is quite a fix, but I have just the solution. Pay attention now. I assumed it was Owl because flying thing. I don't have time for a minigame. Sora, you'll have to protect this carrot patch. If Tigger bounces on a carrot twice, it'll be buried. Once. Twice. Just like that. Protect the carrots from Tigger's bounces and you'll receive points. How, you ask? It's elementary. Simply get to the carrots before Trigger lands on them. There are 15 carrots here. Your score depends on how many you save and how many times you block Tigger. Oh, and one more thing. The rush command is the key to a high score. Select rush while, like, while near a carrot that isn't buried yet. You'll dash to the target area before Tigger lands. Well, good luck. I don't have time. Okay, long episode. Long episode because of, of Winnie the Pooh world. I'll tell you what though. Block Tigger, yes. This whole world is chicken soup for the soul. This whole world is absolutely heartwarming. Um, abs it's I just absolutely think that this is perhaps uh, one of, if not the just most fun worlds. Uh, there's really not- oh, there was just no rush command for me there. There is just no conflict. It's all like little trivial stuff. It's exactly like you would imagine a, a Winnie the Pooh story to be. Just happens to be in a video game and Sora's there. And um, you know, it's it's so heartwarming. There is absolutely nothing um, in this in this game that I think I like more than, than just hanging out with Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, uh, Rabbit, uh, Piglet. And the music is great and I mean, by golly, it's just so incredible. Also, I'm kind of failing now because the rush command is like slightly not appearing. There we go. We got protected him 16 times. Plenty of carrots to make carrot juice. Times block 16. 15 carrots saved. Final score 240. Oh, what's going on? Nobody keeps up with Tiggers. Hmm, maybe there's something wrong with my tail. You're perfect. I'm just a multi-dimensional being. Okay, so he's gonna get the carrots. We're supposed to wait into his house. We're actually not gonna wait into his house because it's prime time we ended this video. 
However, I did say I would return uh, that item we got to uh, the fairy godmother. And so we're going to do that hopefully very quickly. Hopefully she does not like, oh yes, just battle every boss you've ever beat before a second time and, and you'll be grand. So let's see. Let's summon the fairy godmother and make sure that we can redeem this prize. Oh, another summon gem. Oh, it's a summon gem. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Learn summon spell Dumbo. Learn summon spell Bambi. Oh, how wonderful. We can summon Dumbo and Bambi and the genie now. That's wonderful. We're gonna have so much fun doing those sometime later in the series. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be all for now. I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. That means a lot to me when you go through my videos around. And I will catch you all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.